Welcome to Morning Walk. I'm Don, and I'm glad you've joined me for our discussion of our walk of faith this morning. And so many of us are consumed by performance these days. So my question for us this morning is, how much can you do without him? Well, the obvious answer that I think we would all give is, is obviously nothing. We can't, we can't do anything apart from him. And yet we can become so preoccupied, can't we? With uh, what Paul calls our personal interests. And those personal interests are essentially just flesh patterns of sin. And what's interesting as we begin to understand our fleshly tendencies is that those tendencies leave no room for Christ to express his life. And yet it's clear that the Christian life is the Christ life. So what are we observing here as we're processing this this morning? Well, what we have to acknowledge is it's amazing how busy that you and I can be essentially doing nothing. <laughs> you see, the flesh, everything that you and I do apart from him, Paul said in John 6, actually, excuse me, Jesus said in John 6, 63, profits nothing. And so there's an awful possibility that you and I could be busy doing a whole lot of nothing. <laughs> and unless we discover this reality, the sad thing is that we may spend our whole lives serving Jesus Christ doing nothing. <laughs> you, you would not be the first, that's for sure. And unfortunately, we'd not be the last to do nothing and yet be busy doing so many things. And yet that's what we want to avoid, isn't it? You and I must discover that the life that we possess as born again Christians is in him, it's of him, and it's to him. Every moment that you and I are here on this earth, it must be in him, and through him and to him. That's kind of what Paul says there in Romans chapter 12 when he says, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto the Lord. You see, the Lord Jesus Christ claims the use of your body, your whole being, your complete personality, so that all that you give to him, he might give himself to you. That all of your activity as a human being may be his activity in and through you. So we could say it this way, every step you take, Every word you speak, everything you do, everything you are should be an expression of the Son of God, or as we refer to it, life as God intended. So it's for you to be and for him to do. Live in him today.